this I'm upset it looks so cute like Hello, vlog and vlog. Ah, hello, everyone, and welcome back to my channel. It's Vlogmas Day 12. I'm so excited because today we're going to be doing a wig installation. Ah, that's how I'm bald headed right now. That's how I'm real slick back, real bald headed, you know, but I'm about to get these inches or whatever and we're gonna do it together because that's fun duh shout out to nye beauty hair for sponsoring today's video today is a sponsored video they were kind enough to send me this beautiful wig that i already started customizing look at how full and just luscious this hair is oh my god if you guys watched yesterday's vlogmas video, you saw that I started the customization process on this wig. So this is the wig in its natural state after being washed and conditioned. And I went ahead and I bleached the knots and I tweezed my part and my hairline. And I'm just so excited to put this on. Like, she's gonna be so cute. So yeah, that's what I'm doing in today's video. It's gonna be a get ready with me. I'm gonna do my hair install with you guys. And then I'm also gonna do my makeup. So it's gonna be real cute. We're gonna like completely transform because I'm about to transform like ball headed Jasmine and it's gonna be <laughs> oh it's gonna be a whole nother Jasmine by the end of the video. Y'all gonna be like, wait a minute, hold on, wait a minute. Is this the same? Yes, that's me, girl. Yeah, let's just get into this video, shall we? So I have my wig on this wig stand. <laughs> it's not even a wig stand this is a, a light stand that i've turned into a wig stand actually and i'm gonna straighten the hair before i put it on my head um that's not the style that i'm gonna be wearing it in i'm actually gonna do crimps in the hair but i don't want to like straighten it while it's on my head because i won't be able to see the back and this is such a full wig like honestly this is a 5x5 hd closure wig so it is a closure yo I, I, I over bleached my knots a little bit, but I'm gonna show you how I can, how you can fix that. Um, but wow, am I teasing though on this hairline? It's a 5x5 five 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 HD closure wig, 20 inches. This is in the straight texture, but when you wash it, you know, it has like kind of a, it looks like a body wave, honestly. And it's 250 density, which is, this wig is so full. It's so heavy, like, it does shed a little bit when you comb, but honestly, I feel like that might have been because of me bleaching the knots a little bit too long, so. But yeah, it's a super full wig, so I wanna straighten it before I put it on my head, just cause I'm not gonna really be able to see the back of my head, and I wanna make sure that I get all the hairs like super straight at the root. It is a closure, so it's just the five by five closure at the top, and then it's tracks all along the rest of the wig and i'll show you guys the inside construction when i go to put it on but right now i'm just going to straighten it really quickly and when i straighten hair like i've gotten into the habit of every time that i straighten hair i follow the flat iron with a comb i just feel like that's how they be doing it in the hair salons and your hair always comes out super pin straight and ever since i started doing that like my hair Whenever I straighten a wig or anything, it be laid. So it's gonna be a little time consuming, but it's definitely worth it because it just makes the hair look so sleek.
baby hairs pulled forward because I didn't cut them yet but it helped me tweeze the hairline oh it looks so good look at how full there's so much hair on this wig oh yo it looks really good straight too like high key I'm about to put it on mm. okay let me do my boy cat method let me do my boy cat method um they sent me some wig caps. I think everyone gets wig caps when they get a wig, which I love. First, because it's a closure wig and I'm not gluing down my whole hairline, I need to see where the closure sit. And I'm gonna make little marks with like an eyeliner. I just gelled my hair back. It's fully like dry too. I'll cover my ears. Yeah, so I got my wig cap on. Okay, so the inside construction of the wig, this is what it looks like. I tinted my lace, my knots. There's a comb at the nape of the neck, and then there's two combs on either side of the closure, and then there's the drawstring. So I'm gonna do the, put the drawstring on, and I just wanna slide it on and see like where everything sits. Oh, and there's a comb right at the top, right up here. I might cut that out. Yeah, I'm gonna cut that out. And I just feel like it makes it a little bit bulkier at the top of your head with the comb sitting there. I never use it, so. Okay, so I cut that comb out. Now I'm about to slide this wig on. Ooh. <laughs> okay, I'm not mad at it. Ooh, this is like cutting off the circuit, the blood to my eyeballs. It's a very nice fit. Everything, it's not too small at all. Everything fits. Look at how much hair this is. It's so full. <laughs> There's so much hair. And I'm noticing, so like when I was straightening it, I was literally sectioning each part of the wig. My dye job, the watercolor method, I feel like it colored the out, the perimeter of the hair, but like when you like part it, it's still like the original like 1B color, which is fine because it's not like that, that noticeable. It really isn't. It's more so like closer to the tracks where you can see that, but like it is jet black. This is just like an eyebrow pencil, a CoverGirl eyebrow pencil. And I'm gonna just do a little where to put the glue. But I want to do it very lightly because I don't want to be able to see this. Period. Just like that. And then I'm going to slide the wig off. Oh, I'm so excited about this install. Ah, it's going to come out good. I can feel it. I can feel it. Okay, so this is where we at, right? You see my hairline kind of like comes out. So a frontal would like cover that. But because it's a closure, it's not really going to. But I'm also doing a middle part. So the hair is going to fall 
five five by five is, is still like a good perimeter or a good distance across my forehead to like show lace and to show scalp okay so i'm going to use bowl hold liquid gold to secure my wig cap and i'm just gonna apply this Here. You see how easy it is to apply this and then I'm just going to use my finger and blend it backwards. The name for this is so cute, liquid gold, like I love that. So yeah, I don't braid my hair under my wigs and it's because I don't have a lot of hair, to be honest. And I feel like it makes my um, wigs look lumpier <laughs> underneath. Like when I do braids, it's just I have so much hair on my head that my braids are never like really small and tight I can't get them small and tight if someone else were to do it like a professional I'm sure they'd be able to but I personally can't and I just feel like my wigs lay so much flatter when I just do them like I wash my hair I'll oil it up and then I'll slick it back really really good and then I'm gonna take my blow dryer I'm gonna put it on warm you can use warm with the liquid gold um, and I'm gonna Okay, so this is completely dry now. I'm gonna go in with my scissors and I'm gonna cut my ears out. So I have a little, I saw this girl on TikTok. I don't remember her name cause it was just on my For You page, but she did this technique for her, her, her this method for her bald cap. I don't know if she was the creator of it, but if somebody knows who, who did this, who started this, this method let me know down below so yeah cut my ears out right because it's a closure and it's not glued down all the way i'm actually going to keep this band from the edge of the wig cap and i'm gonna i'm just gonna do it so okay first i make a little hole right here and then i cut up i'm actually gonna yeah Cut along this as close as possible. Same thing for this side. Right, so it's like that. And then before you cut the rest of the ball cap off, you want to glue this part down with the lace glue so that it's secure. Where's my lace glue? So I'm going to be using the Bold Hold Active. I'm going to take a little bit of alcohol. Nobody was talking to you. Why are you talking to me? Anyway, I'm gonna take a little bit of alcohol and just clean this area so that there's no product or oils. I did put a face oil on my face before I started filming. And then I'm gonna take some uh, translucent finishing powder, but this is like a tinted one. It's from Black Opal. What is this? The color is Neutral Light in my foundation brush. And I'm just gonna ooh, press this over my hair because I feel like I don't want the darkness of my hair to show through. Okay, got the powder on the bowl. It, the powder doesn't have to be perfect because I already tinted my lace, but I just do that just to be sure. I'm gonna go in with I'm gonna do, let's see. I'm gonna do three layers. The first layer is gonna be really light. Don't judge me, there's like hair and stuff on this, but <laughs> I'm gonna just spread this down. So I'm like pushing the glue into the bald cap and I'm also like spreading it down so that it's like really thin. With the glue, you want to spread it as thin as possible because then it's, it, that's the way it dries clear. If it's too thick, then it'll look white. And then you'll be like, ah, trust me, I would know. <laughs> Periana. Okay, so that's pretty much, I did such a thin layer that it was drying as it was being spread out. So now I can go in and I can actually cut this. And I'm going to cut it really close to the band like that and then the little excess here I'm just gonna cut away it can stay like that 
because remember it's just a closure so we don't need all of it glued down okay ow <laughs> and now that we're here i'm gonna actually pull this band over my ear both, over both of my ears and i'm gonna pull it all the way back to like right here and i'm gonna try and get it really flat and i feel like this this is the most secure for me because i have my little like pony like my little bun back here that's pretty flat actually but it's like everything is tucked underneath the wig cap i feel like when you cut this part off and uh-uh not the line on my forehead i feel like when you cut this off and you have it hanging it just like allows your hair to like just start to slip out after a couple days probably gonna have this wig on for like a week so i want to make sure that it is secure you know <laughs> i'm gonna go in with my second layer of glue and this one's gonna be a little bit thicker i don't want to go too far ahead of the bald cap and then blend it or push it down it says allow 24 hours before um getting wet with the glue does that mean i could get this wet ah stop playing with me i always wanted a glue that was like waterproof just in case you know you never know okay so before i glue on the last layer i'm going to slide this wig on so that it's sitting right behind like B, and then I'm gonna go in with the third layer. I'm gonna blend this one back too. Guys, the transformation is loading. Ooh, when I beat my face. Ah! We gotta come up with a name. This unit is giving me Kim, cause it's straight. I really do like, I really do just love having different looks. Like I love being able to just give different vibes. Like take your lace, <laughs> I've been taking the back of anything. Ah, it's really giving scalp though. Oh wow, it's really giving Scalpiana. Oh wow, okay, these are my baby ears. These are my baby ears. Right here and right here. Do it like this. So I cut four little flaps. And then, I'm gonna go in with my razor to cut the lace off, so. Don't cut the baby ears though. As close as possible. <gasps> oh wow. Look at the lace disappearing. This is HD lace by the way. I, I know I said that earlier, but like, girl, look at it. Look at the lace. Look at, you can't even. Oh, you can't even see it. You can't even see it. It's really the lace for me. Without cutting my baby hairs that are so strategically tweezed. Yes, Mama Cinta. Ooh. Uh, but this is like the lace is fire. I'm gonna use some Lotta Body to mold my baby hairs. I'm like really quiet right now, and it's because I'm trying to focus on doing this properly you can just watch me do it oh i almost forgot to slide the comb in in the back ah, ah, ah. <laughs> nah this is mad cute look at wait look at my hairline look at it Bitch, and I'm about to beat my face. No, I need to tie this down first. Periana, okay, so we're halfway there, right? I just got so excited because I'm like, nah, I know like the transformation is really about to, to start now that the hair is like 
being molded. This hair is so, I don't want my nipples to be out. <laughs> this hair is so soft. It's so soft. It feels so silky. Like, wow. And it's jet black. It's the, the pin straight for me. I'm gonna be my face. Okay. All right, T, should I zoom you guys in a little bit more? She could really get into this skin. I already prepped my skin with my with my marula oil. Put that all over my face. For primer, I use these two primers, um, the Benefit Professional and the Fenty Beauty Soft Silk Pro Filter Hydrating Primer. Um, this because I'm dry and this because it's like smoothing with texture. So I focus this in my T-zone area because I feel like I have pores in that area that this just does magic for. And then I do it here in my T-zone. And when I apply this and blend it out, I keep it kind of thick. Um, I, I don't want it to like fully like be blended in. I kind of want like a layer of primer for the makeup to sit on top. I feel like it also creates a barrier between my skin and the makeup. I don't know, that's how I like to apply my primer. Then I go in with my Fenty Beauty Pro Filter and I do this on the rest of my face because I love this stuff. Oof, I did my scarf so tight. <laughs> I love the way my makeup blends on top of the hydrating primer, especially since I have dry skin. Um, if you guys are familiar with my makeup routine, which I feel like most of you guys are, you know that I don't, Typically, I don't apply foundation and concealer and contour and highlight the same way as everyone else anymore. And I actually, I've been doing this method for like over a year now, so it's not even news. Like, I don't even know why I'm speaking about this as if it's brand new, but yeah, I guess people are just noticing it now that it's my, like that that's my routine, but it's been my routine for like over a year. But I'm gonna go in with my Benefit Hello Happy Foundation Stick in the shade four. No, I lied, in the shade six. I really, really like this foundation. Um, she's like, I feel like she's medium coverage. She's really, it's a soft matte finish and she's really blendable and just creamy. And I love a good cream foundation, especially in the colder months of the year, I just feel like it looks so good. Cream foundations also just photograph really nicely and most of the times when I'm wearing makeup, it's for pictures or if it's for video. So it's, my, my makeup's always being photographed is what I'm basically saying. So I feel like I typically just like cream foundations versus liquid. So that's where I placed my foundation. So I did here along my jaw, I do, in between where I'm gonna put my contour and my highlight and then I do on my forehead, and I'm gonna put the contour on the outside and the concealer on the inside. You guys are gonna see. Next, I'm going with my Holy Grail. This is the only found, this is the only contour stick that I use, the Fenty Beauty um, Match Stick in Truffle. And I go in and I put it on the areas where I want to cream contour. So I'm putting it right underneath that um, foundation the hello happy foundation and when it go, when I go to blend it out it's just gonna look so seamless because they're blending into each other so I'm doing the same thing on my forehead and it's okay that they're mixing I feel like it makes it look more natural you know along my jawline I always contour here because I have a little double chin so I like to <laughs> cut that out um, for my nose contour right at the top along the bridge and then I bring it down the sides of my nose like that it looks a little messy but it's okay and then I do a little on the tip here to kind of just lift my nose so I'm getting a I'm getting a cinch and I'm getting a lift all in one and I do my upper lip create a little shadow there and yeah those are all the areas that I contour and then last, but certainly not least, well, these are, they're gonna be two concealers. I'm gonna use my Pat McGrath Labs Skin Fetish Sublime Perfection Concealer in the shade M15. So this is like closer to my foundation shade, but still lighter than my foundation. 
This concealer is so bomb. I went into Sephora a couple of months ago and I was like, I told the girl, I was like, I wanna try a new concealer, something I never tried before. And I just know it's gonna be fire. Like, I don't care what, what it costs or anything. She was like, well, have you tried the Pat McGrath last? And I was like, no, give me that one. <laughs> And she's a black woman, like yes, give it, give it to me. So I love this concealer. I try not to use it all the time. Sometimes I use my Fenty Beauty concealer in 330 instead of this one. Those are the areas that I highlight, right? So down my T-zone, place my concealer on the outside of my eye in an upward motion following the way that I applied my contour and the foundation so that when I go to blend it out, it's lifting my eyes up. So when you look at me, it's like my eyes are going, it's a nice little facelift, I'm telling you. The way that you apply your makeup is just as important as how you blend it out. Apply that there and then I'm applying it on the sides of my nose, down the sides of my nose to push that contour in that I placed here and to also hit this inner corner where there may be some darkness. And then last, the last, last, <laughs> The last one is my highlighting concealer. So that was like my concealing concealer. Like it's close to my foundation shade, but it's not my foundation, it's still lighter. This is my highlighting concealer. So this is gonna bring highlight brightness to my face. This is my Too Faced Born This Way uh, multi-use sculpting concealer in the shade Golden Beige. This is lighter, so you guys are gonna see. It's like much lighter. But I apply that there in the center, that space that I left. I do a little bit here. I layer in the inside of my highlight and I do a little on the tip of my nose where I left bare. And I usually put a little bit right here because I feel like this also, applying it on the sides of the nose helps lift where I have this contour here. It kind of just lifts everything up. Yeah, and then a little bit here. <sighs> and that's my foundation routine. So yes, I use foundation. It's just not all over. It's the foundation stick, and then I'm using my contour and my concealer and my highlight to fill in the other areas. I feel like I use less product this way. If I were to do like a full layer of foundation and then do contour and then put concealer on top to like brighten, I feel like I'm, I was using more product that way. I feel like this method for me is a lot lighter. Um, I have done this method because you guys, oh, I don't know if you guys know, but I am a makeup artist or I was a makeup artist. I used to work as a makeup artist. I don't do it anymore. But when I did take clients, this was the way that I did makeup on them. No matter you know how much hyperpigmentation or acne scarring they have um, or discoloration, like I was still able to get a flawless, seamless base. Um, and that's because I would color correct if they had, you know, hyperpigmentation or acne scarring or I would like to take the necessary steps prior to me doing this method on their skin so that like it still was flawless. Oh, that was the last thing I forgot. I usually, I just started doing this. I put a little bit of the foundation on the corners of my mouth because I feel like I have some grayness on the corners of my mouth and it cancels it out cancels it out very nicely. Um, I take a paper towel and my foundation brush. This is a Morphe E31. And as I'm like blending out, if I feel like there's too much product on my brush, I'll dab it on the paper towel. So I always start out by blending out the contour, the darkest areas first. I go from dark to light. I'm also working from the outside in. Now I'm bl blending out the foundation and it's a pounce pressing patting motion. It's with like a little swipe, but I'm really just pouncing the brush all over. Not my wig, <laughs> slide my scarf back and I'm gonna blend out that contour that's sitting there. Okay, so I blended the contour in and I blended it into the foundation that was sitting there and all that's really left is the concealer. I always blend out my concealer last. I like to let it sit so that it can thicken a little. It starts to dry down and it holds a better um, coverage when it starts to dry down and then you blend it out. If you blend out your concealer right away, a lot of the product is gonna get picked up by the brush or by a beauty blender if that's what you're using. When you blend your contour, you wanna blend up. You never wanna blend down because then you're gonna create 
a weird shadow that's not gonna contour you or slim you at all. It's gonna just look muddy and it's gonna be too low on your face. With my brush, I'm gonna start just blending the outer edge of that concealer into the foundation and the contour that I have laying there. I'm gonna do the same with the concealer up here. Not blending it out all the way, but I'm just using the very outer edge of my brush to hit that perimeter of the highlight and the concealer. I feel like this also just looks so soft and blended and seamless because I'm using the same brush to blend everything out. So all of that product is kind of mixing together and it's creating like a custom just palette for my skin. Like these are all of my tones and my hues. Okay, so I'm here. I saw the concealer on my forehead and I have some on the chin and then I have under my eyes and this here, of course. So I'm gonna start to press out the concealer on my chin. You see how the face just comes together? Ugh, I love it. It's like it all comes together at once. So when I used to do makeup on other people, I felt like it was very satisfying for them to sit in my chair and watch me blend out their makeup because it's like they it looks crazy in the first like two minutes of me mapping everything out but once I started to blend everything together they were like oh this makes sense like and it looks so good but it was also kind of confusing because they're like dang how did she do that so quickly <laughs> I'm coming up under here and just make sure that I still have that that you know when I get to this part I go in with a smaller blending brush this is a Fenty Beauty 180 concealer brush I love this brush so much it's so dense and soft and it blends your makeup seamlessly this is I rave about this brush every single time I do my foundation routine either on Instagram or on YouTube or on TikTok like this is my go-to so I use this for both the contour and the highlight. I'm gonna blend out the contour first because it's the darker. I'm just gonna push the contour that I placed on my bridge bone to slim my nose. I'm gonna push that up into my brows. This natural shadow that you're creating is really gonna slim your nose. You don't wanna just contour like down here and then not do anything with up here because it doesn't look as natural. I feel like when you bring it all the way up into the brow bone it just looks so seamless you can't even tell that i have contour on my nose because you can't tell where it starts and where it begins drag my brush down and i start to blend out the contour along the bridge and remember we still have the wet concealer here and we have the concealer in the middle so when i go to blend those out i know it's good it's really gonna oh okay ready y'all seeing this is you seeing this i'm gonna leave the concealer that's sitting in the center of my nose and i'm gonna start to blend out this under my eye still using that paper towel and just dabbing off the excess i'm gonna tap this in under here under the eye keeping that coverage and then as you start to pat this in and blend it out you're gonna bring it in to this inner corner right and you're gonna drag it along your eyelid and under where we place that contour so it's like you have the contour running up this way and then you have the concealer running right underneath it so it just reinforces that shape that you've just created like that I'm gonna blend this out last but not least we're gonna blend out this nose highlight so I'm just gonna tap it out it's almost fully dried down but it's okay I'm using a very light hand with blending and you see it's more like a dragging like a up and down Ooh, do you see my face you see how everything is so seamlessly blended like I'm literally I'm obsessed now while everything is still freshly blended i'm gonna go on with my fenty beauty instant retouch powder in banana and i'm gonna set everything in place so i'm doing this under my eyes and i use a brush and just press it in i 
and it's like I'm using just enough powder to where I'm setting everything but there's not a lot of powder sitting under my eye Get a little on my chin in the center of my forehead where I had that highlight and then I do underneath my contour because I just feel like it just it just snatches me up I really like to do this I'll leave a little bit of powder on the sides of my nose um, just because I want my nose to, <laughs> to stay snatched. Then we're going to do a little brow moment. I'm using the Benefit Cosmetics Goof Proof Brow Pencil in shade number 4. Um, you guys bullied me into not really wanting to fill in my eyebrows anymore. And it's not you guys, it's not you. Um, but I would say after my new body TikTok that went viral on Instagram and TikTok. Um, I just got so many comments about how terrible my brows were. And I didn't even feel like they were bad in that video. I actually thought they were great. It's because one of my eyebrows is naturally more arched than the other. So people were just like, oh, the eyebrows are so uneven. But it's actually like something that's out of my control. Like I can't. And then also when I'm like singing and rapping, like I'm moving my eyebrows. So people are looking at me, my face that's moving the entire time and they're commenting on like my eyebrows being uneven. But it's like, if you go to my Instagram page and you see my my face in like a, a photo, a still photo, my eyebrows don't look uneven. So it's like, but anyway, I was just like, okay, maybe I should just stop filling my eyebrows in like all together. So there was a, pretty much for like the entire summer, I didn't fill my eyebrows and I was just doing clear brow gel. Now I gradually got back into filling them in, but it's like very natural. I don't even like carve them out or anything. I just do a little bit of this goof proof in the areas that I have gaps. So I have like a gap in the front and then down here at the bottom and then on the arch with a little gap. Yeah, so with literally the lightest hand ever. I'm gonna do a little bit of the clear brow gel from Benefit. <laughs> I can't open it. <laughs> the 24 hour brow setter and I just set, set my brows in place. Okay, so I seen this look that Kevin Luong, I think that's how you say his name. Kevin Luong, yes, did on The Real Kyle Sister and I'm trying to do that eye look. It's a very, I've done it before, it's a very soft, like smoked out liner. Not like super defined though. I can see it. Yeah, I love this. This looks so good on her, so. Soft glam is just like, that's my thing. Like, I have my moments where I do like the cut creases and stuff, like the last look I did on Instagram, the purple cut crease. That was like very, you know, glam, very Barbie. But then I just, I can never go wrong with like a soft glam. So I got this palette from Natasha Denona. Um, this is the mini nude palette. I love this thing. <laughs> Honestly, I was like gonna get a big palette, but then I saw this right before you get to check out in Sephora, and I was like, no, this is this is me right here. Sienna, which is this matte, like peachy color, and a fluffy brush. Let me zoom you guys in a little bit more. I have the concealer on my lid already, and I'm just gonna apply this right in the crease. In circular motions, I'm gonna just blow it out and push it all the way up. I'm looking at the picture. The simplest looks look the most pretty. Like, I just love those simple, soft glam moments. This Natasha Denona palette, like, if you've never, I never have tried any of her, her eyeshadows before. So this was like a nice little, like, taste. But now that I know how pigmented and bomb, I'm like, okay, I'm gonna just go ahead and splurge on the the big palette. But yeah, you see how I kind of just blended that all the way up. Then I'm gonna take, I'm gonna use my bronzer, my Fenty Beauty bronzer. I'm gonna go in with this later to bronze my face, but I'm gonna use this and a smaller blending brush. Actually, I lied. I'm gonna use the bigger blending brush that I was just using. And I'm gonna apply this below that color from the Natasha Denona palette and just keep it on my lid, but I'm blending it into that color. Then I'm gonna go in with a smaller blending brush 
and what color is this? Soil, the really dark brown. And I'm gonna tap this right on the outer third of my eye. Kind of making like a little triangle shape, if that makes sense. Cause I'm gonna do like a liner look. So it's like a smoky winged liner. I'm starting to drag that brush. This brush, what brush is this? This is a Morphe M507. It kind of has like a, it's a blending brush, but it has like a slight point to it. So I can drag it along my lash line pretty easily. Out on my eye like that. And then I'll use my finger just to clean it up if it gets a little, a little crazy. So we got our smoky liner. Smoky liner. Then, I'm gonna go in with this Benefit Cosmetics Bad Gal Bang 24 hour eye pencil in deep brown. I love this pencil. And I'm just gonna drag it along my lash line all the way to the inner corner. And then I take a brush with a really straight edge. This is a Morphe E48. Is that an eight or a three? E43, my bad. <laughs> and the same dark brown shade from the Natasha Dona palette, Denona palette, and I'm just gonna tap the brush in there. And then just kind of go over that liner. I'm smudging the liner out, I'm blending it out, but I'm keeping it, it's more controlled because I'm using a brush with a really straight edge. And go with a little bit more liner. Yes. It looks so smudgy, but that's how I like it. Then I go back in with that first fluffy brush that I was using and the Sienna color. And I just press that over the liner, like literally over everything. It just makes it look softer. I'm gonna go on with Graph Black Technical Liner from MAC. And I'm gonna do the same thing that I did with the brown, but I'm gonna keep it really close to my waterline, my lash line. I'm gonna blend it out before it like dries down. I'm keeping it tight to the, the lash line. And when I get to this edge, I'm just going to connect it with the brown. For her lower lash line, she just has black and the water on. So I'm going to do the black. I'm going to take the brown liner from Benefit and right underneath that. And then, these, this one and this one. I'm gonna smoke out the lower lash line. Period. A little mascara. This is from Fenty Beauty. It's the full frontal mascara in Cuz I'm Black. On my lapel of the table, I'm giving the toast. Pedal, I drown in the heat. My sapphire's drown in my sweat. Okay, so I glued my lashes on. These lashes are from Destiny Shop in the style Barbiana. Soon restock, soon restock, soon. Um, I'm gonna dust off that setting powder that I had sitting under Piriana. Then I'm gonna bronze with my Fenty bronzer, the Stun Sun Stalker bronzer in Caramel Cutie. Bring some color back into my face. And then my blush is Benefit Cosmetics California. I'm just now realizing I haven't done one of these makeup tutorials in so long. Like I've just been doing my makeup for Instagram. And I go back in with my bronzer brush and then just go over it. Then I'm gonna set my face. Um, using Fix Plus. No, this isn't technically it's not a setting spray, but it's a setting spray. Like that's what I use it for. But it's more of like a like a water, a water. What is that called? A mist. It's like a mist, but it does have glycerin in it, so 
it does technically set your makeup because of the glycerin. And then I'll go back in with my foundation brush and I'll kind of just like press the Fix Plus into my skin. Okay, and then I'm gonna go in with my highlight. This is the only highlighter I use. It's from Fenty. My whole face is like Fenty and Benefit, like that's it. Those are my two favorite brands. I'm gonna take this um, How Many Carrots All Over Diamond Veil Diamond Balm Highlighter. Cupid's bow. For the lip, I'm gonna do Cork Lip Liner. <laughs> Literally the only lip liner I use. Um, this is really just my favorite lip liner of all time. Then I'm gonna go in with Joso Colors Lip Gloss and Honey I'm Home. I'm gonna do... Then I'm gonna go in with some clear um, lip glass from MAC. Okay, let's take off this. Let's take off this scarf and see what we're working with it on. Cause I might have to touch up my hairline with this bronzer. Why is it white? Oh my god! Why is it white? No! Why is it white? It's so laid, but why is it white? It's not even wet. I'm so confused. No. Wow. I was not expecting that. Like, look at how laid my my wig is, and then it's white. Like, I'm so confused. Wow, that was not what I was expecting. I'll tell you that. It's a shame because it looks so good, but like, I'm mad. <laughs> ah, why? Why me? I'm about to just put powder on it because. Okay, so I'm not really sure why it turned white. I mean. I was I started sweating a little bit like when I had the scarf on still um, but then I turned my AC on I turned on my air and I cooled down very quickly because my air is very like strong because this is supposed to be the water resistant one so I'm gonna take um, this cream foundation from black opal and a concealer brush and I'm gonna put Seal it in my part. I put a little bit of this Cantu flaxseed wax stick to just tame the flyaways. I do a little of that, and then I go on with my curling wand that's on and hot. I know I said I was gonna do crimps, but like. I'm so feeling the straight hair right now. I kind of want to do the crimps on another day. But like this straight hair. I really did such a good job. For the glue to have messed me up like that. That glue got me messed up. Because like. Never did I slay my hair this good for the glue to just want to turn white like that. Look at my fucking hair! Look at my hair! No, seriously? Let me just fix these little baby hairs. I'm so hurt. Why did the glue turn white like that? Like, I fixed it, but like, why? Oh my gosh, this used to be my jam, like sleek, straight hair, middle part. This hair is so pretty. Like, I'm really feeling like it's giving Chun Li right now. Like, it's giving very much Harajuku Barbie. Like, ah! 
<laughs> I love the black pen straight. I might have to just do crimps another day because this, I'm obsessed. It looks so cute. Like, I, I'm sorry. Let me zoom in. I'm like getting closer and closer to the camera for what? Look at my install. Things I did? That! I did that! Period! Like, look at my fucking hair! Like... <laughs> oh... My gosh... I don't know why the glue turned white, honey. But that was a real quick fix with a little powder, but I was a little stressed. But like, it still came out good! She gets a little knotted in the back, but I think it's because it's so long. That honestly happens with like all long hair, but... It's the jet black sleek middle part for me period the glam this is my kind of glam this soft glam smoky liner you guys know that's my shit. okay period i can tuck my hair behind my ear and give you guys a little a little moment oh it looks so cute wait i gotta call and i gotta just one time I just got a one time, you know? He's gonna be like, what? It's the hair for me. Oh my God. Babe! I did my hair. Doesn't it look so cute? Yo, I gotta do shorts. How you doing? Hey. Hello, who are you though? Um. My name's Kim. Kim? Yeah. Oh, I like Kim. Oh, I like Kim. <laughs> Kim, I know what you're doing. Kim, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm here for this. I'm here for all of it. Like, the whole thing. Every last part of it. Um, Period. Ooh. The lighting right here. Ah, the lighting right here. Who knew? I be standing on my couch so I can get like a good selfie, but like sitting. Ah, you guys. That's the end of this video. Like, I'm really not gonna do much. I got my wine right here. And I'm eating caramel, the caramel pecan cinnamon roll popcorn that I bought from Tarjay. Um, and I'm about to watch some YouTube videos. I'm gonna catch up on some other people's vlogmas videos because actually it's not that late. It's about to be nine o'clock. And then I'm gonna edit this video, of course, so that it can go up tomorrow. I can't stop playing in my hair. It's the jet black. Oh my gosh, I'm always going to do jet black. Why don't I always just dye my hair jet black? Ugh. This glam. This soft glam. I'm here for it. So, if you enjoyed today's video, then make sure you give it a big thumbs up down below. Click the thumbs up button because my glam came out so freaking cute and my wig is laid. Like, just give me a thumbs up simply for those two reasons. Period. Don't forget to click that subscribe button down below and turn on your post notifications. That way you're notified every time that I upload because I'm uploading every single day for Vlogmas. It's lit. It's actually like, I was stressing at first, but it's it's fun. Like, it's been fun. But like, now I'm like, you know what? Don't stress it, you know? Like, do what comes natural, Jasmine. So make sure your post notifications are turned on. That way you're notified every time that I do upload on YouTube. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget, you are smart, you are beautiful, and people love you. I love you, and I can't wait to see you at my next upload, which is going to be tomorrow. Bye.